Donald Trump uh, is now saying that insurance for everybody is going to be his health care plan. What does that mean? You don't really know. I don't really know. Um, insurance for everybody would be extremely feasible if people could afford health insurance before the Affordable Care Act. After the Affordable Care Act, people still can't afford health insurance. And that was what the Affordable Care Act was designed to do was bring more people into the fold and also help out the insurance companies a little bit by lining their pockets and expanding their coverage to more Americans. It was a very centrist plan, obviously originally proposed by the Heritage Foundation uh, and implemented by Mitt Romney in Massachusetts. People were justifiably criticizing President Obama for not adopting a more uh, radical, it would be what the conservatives would say, or more comprehensive healthcare approach. I think uh, us at TYT and a lot of progressives were in that camp. Does that mean I want to scrap the Affordable Care Act? Absolutely not. It has expanded coverage for millions and millions of people. So let me expand upon the fact that Donald Trump really has no plan, and if he does, he's hiding it and waiting to con the American people, um, which is his bread and butter. Donald Trump is a con man and has been doing so throughout New York and throughout his real estate deals for his, the entirety of his career. So uh, let me read from the Washington Post summarizing Donald Trump's recent positions. I say that in quotes because he doesn't really have any on his health insurance policy. President-elect Donald Trump said in the weekend interview that he is nearing completion of a plan to replace President Obama's signature health care law with the goal of insurance for everybody while also vowing to force drug companies to negotiate directly with the government on prices in Medicare and Medicaid. First of all, let me point out my hatred of the argument by Republicans. Why are drug companies negotiating with the government on Medicare and Medicaid? These programs, from their inception were meant to be government programs. The drug companies should have no say in Medicare and Medicaid. This is a government program. And look, look, look how much we've fallen since the days of FDR. That's why progressives like me wanted uh, a FDR Democrat like Bernie Sanders. The, these idiots that put Trump and Bernie Sanders together and said that they were one and the same the Bernie bros narrative, etc. The only thing that they share is populism. This is in diametrically opposed to everything that Bernie Sanders stands for. The article continues. Trump declined to reveal specifics in the telephone interview late Saturday with the Washington Post, of course, but any proposals from the incoming president would almost certainly dominate the Republican effort to overhaul federal health care policy as he prepares to work with the party's congressional majorities. Trump's plan is likely to face questions from the right after years of GOP opposition to further expansion of government involvement in the health care system and from those on the left who see his ideas as disruptive to changes brought by the Affordable Care Act that have extended coverage to tens of millions of Americans. You don't say that it's disruptive to the Affordable Care Act. And let me stop right there and just address that the ACA... Um, is not perfect. And I said that earlier in the video, it's not perfect by any stretch of the uh, imagination. I think that you can draw a direct line from corporate Democrats like Rahm Emanuel, um, who by all accounts influenced President Obama to not push for a public option back in 2008. You can draw a direct line from Rahm Emanuel to the problems in the Affordable Care Act and to the fact that we don't have a public option. But that being said, it's better than nothing and you push for more. And uh, that's why I'm never going to be the kind of liberal that says, oh, Democrats and Republicans, they're exactly the same. They aren't exactly the same. In my opinion, yes, you can have corporatist Democrats who pull a fast one on you, like Cory Booker, and I will get so angry. But these Democrats don't want to privatize health care. Oh, President Obama at one point was considering cuts to Medicare and Medicaid, absolutely, which is a very conservative position. But... The Affordable Care Act being cut is a backward step. We need to expand upon it and improve upon it, like Bernie Sanders has said, and not just completely decimate it. 20 million people have health care coverage because of the Affordable Care Act. I was actually just watching a town hall with Paul Ryan, where a conservative who actually had uh, coverage from the Affordable Care Act, they... 
he was able to get healthcare coverage and able to combat his potentially terminal cancer because of the ACA. And Paul Ryan has the, had this BS answer about how they're going to come up with something better. I was a Republican and I worked for the Reagan and Bush campaigns. Just like you, I was opposed to the Affordable Care Act. When it was passed, I told my wife we would close our business before I complied with this law. Then, at 49, I was given six weeks to live mm. with a very curable type of cancer. We offered three times the cost of my treatments, which was rejected. They required an insurance card. Thanks to the Affordable Care Act, I'm standing here today alive. Being both a small business person mm -hmm. and someone with pre-existing conditions, right. I rely on the Affordable Care Act to be able to purchase my own insurance. Why would you repeal the Affordable Care Act without a replacement? Oh, we, we wouldn't do that. We want to replace it with something better. First of all, um, I'm glad you're standing here. <laughs> I mean, really, <laughs> seriously. I mean. What? You've been trying to repeal it over 20 times you tried to repeal it and President Obama continued to veto it. You wasted everybody's time when he was president and you still had no alternative. You've had years and years and years to come up with an alternative and you say you are just continuing to come up with one, but you don't have an alternative because all you care about is donor, 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 enrich my tax, the highest tax bracket, and that's all I care about. In addition to his replacement plan for the ACA, also known as Obamacare, Trump said that he will target pharmaceutical companies over drug prices. They're politically protected, but not anymore, he said of pharmaceutical companies. The objectives of broadening access to insurance and lowering health care costs have always been in conflict, and it remains unclear how the plan that the incoming administration is designing, or ones that will emerge on Capitol Hill, would address that tension. In general, congressional GOP plans to replace Obamacare have tended to try to constrain costs by reducing government requirements, such as the medical services that must be provided under health care plans sold through the law's marketplaces and, those, and through states' Medicare programs. House Speaker Paul Ryan and other Republicans have been talking lately about providing universal access to health insurance instead of universal health care coverage. Universal access to health insurance, yeah, if it's a commodity, we all have universal access. We just don't have the money to pay for it. <laughs> it's idiotic. It's, it's just what we hate about politics and what we hated, to be honest, about Hillary Clinton and other corporate Democrats. Stronger together. Slogans that mean nothing. Universal access? What are you talking about? I don't have universal access to a, a, a private plane. The guy working at McDonald's flipping burgers doesn't have a universal access to a Hamptons beach house. What are you talking about? Trump said that he expects Republicans in Congress to move quickly and in unison in the coming weeks on other priorities as well, including enacting sweeping tax cuts and b beginning the building of a wall Along the Mexican border, Trump warned Republicans that if the party splinters or shows his agenda, he is ready to use the power of the presidency and Twitter to usher his legislation to passage. The Congress can't get the Congress, oh, what an idiot, can't get cold feet because the people will not let that happen, Trump said during an interview with The Post. Trump said his plan for replacing most aspects of Obama's health care law are, is all but finished. Although he was coy, coy on its details, Lower numbers, much lower deductibles. He, he doesn't even know what deductibles are. He said that he, he is ready to unveil it alongside Ryan and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. It is very much formulated down to the final strokes. We haven't put it in quite yet, but we're going to do it soon, Trump said. Forgive me, Donald Trump, if I don't take your word on that. You don't have anything to offer the American people. That's why you're just throwing out these slogans and saying that it's still in the works. And if it isn't in the works... Why aren't you sharing it? Why aren't you sharing that at least basic bones with the American people? Oh, I know why. It's because you're going to massively slash Medicare and Medicaid or privatize it. What I am slightly optimistic about is that Donald Trump is a crowd surfer and he's the kind of guy that's going to want to please people based on poll numbers. 
And now in this new era of political transparency where people are watching his every move, that's going to be difficult when he's trying to slash Medicare and Medicaid. But Paul Ryan is not that interested in that. He'll do these fancy town halls where he says, oh, don't worry, I'll make sure that you don't die of cancer while doing exactly just that. And hiding, hiding in his room, in his office, which he did last week, and, and, and trying to avoid any conflict with people who are saying, do not cut my health care coverage. The article continues. When asked in the interview whether he intends to cut benefits for Medicare as part of his plan, Trump said no, a position that he reiterated Sunday on ABC by Rents Priebus, uh, Trump's incoming chief of staff. He did not elaborate on that view or how would it affect his proposal. He expressed that view throughout his campaign. Moving ahead, Trump said that lowering drug prices is central to reducing health care costs nationally and that he will make it a priority as he uses the bully pulpit to shape policy. When asked how exactly he would force drug manufacturers to comply, Trump said that part of his approach would be pu public pressure, just like on the airplane, a nod to his tweets about Lockheed Martin's F-35 fighter jet which Trump said was too costly. Trump, you have said that you aren't going to cut Medicare and Medicaid, but are you going to privatize it? So that's what I think is going to happen. Um, the Republicans are going to say that they're not making any real cuts while just offing, uh, offsetting that and giving that to private insurers and, and, and lining their pockets, lining their donors' pockets, which, by the way, Cory Booker loves doing as well, and the Pharma 13, those Democrats who voted with those big pharmaceutical companies. So, again, it's not exclusive to the Republicans, but God, the Affordable Care Act is as conservative of uh, a plan that could have been proposed by a Democratic president, and it's already being repealed. And it has done a great amount of good. 20 million more people are insured because of it. And I don't even know what the gripe is. Yeah, it may pr give health insurance companies a tad bit more of an issue and, and they may get a little bit of a cut into their profits, but they're already, their coverage and their client base is being expanded. So Republicans should just kind of eat this loss, but they're so greedy and they're so bought by their donors that they need to cut any semblance of reform in order to give back that iota of profits to those drug companies. They are bought hook, line, and sinker. The scariest thing about Trump, in my opinion, is that we have no idea what we're fighting. We don't know what he's going, how he's going to respond to this new lovely bill that the Republicans are coming up with. And the whole point of TYT is to shed a spotlight on on power and actually hold them accountable and unlike the mainstream media but both democrats and republicans but show them the money trail show them show the actual motivations um of the of of these politicians but how can you fight and combat a man that has no principles and has no positions and is not being clear on where he stands so that's what frustrates me and that's what worries me most. And he's trying to say that they're not going to cut Medicare and they're not going to cut Medicaid, but it seems like he's going to pull a fast one on all of us. And um, he will either do as exactly what his far-right advisors say because he thinks he can get away with it. He thinks he can say he's not going to cut it and then just give them everything that they want. But you know what, Trump? There's a new era of political transparency that has been ushered in by the Bernie Sanders movement. Um, you saw the response to Cory Booker when he voted against the Sanders Amendment um, to bring in drug, drug, uh, prescription drugs over from the Canadian border. We are going to hold him accountable once we figure out what the actual heart of this legislation is going to be.